hi lovely people you're welcome back to my channel this is a requested video a lot of my viewers have been requesting for my full wash day video and here it is i'm happy to finally bring you this video in this video i'm going to be showing you how i wash my hair deep condition rinse and moisturize my hair this video is pack loaded and it is really really detailed i make sure i filmed every important aspect of my wash day but please if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and share remember your like your comments and your shares are the encouragement i get to keep making more videos and if you've not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe and put your notification bell on so you will be notified whenever i upload new videos keep on watching so right here i'm just showing you how my hair looks my scalp and my hair and to start with i'll be using my diy shampoo if you've not seen the video it's on my channel please check it out so what i do first is to run water through my hair to make sure it is wet it is soaked with water and after soaking it with water i then go in with my diy shampoo this shampoo is really potent so you don't need to use too much i'm just going to apply to my scalp I usually wash my hair twice depending on the state of my hair but most times I wash my hair twice so for the first one I apply the shampoo on my scalp and scrub my scalp here I'll be using my fingers to lightly scrub my scalp but if you have a scalp massager it is really really fine this is when you need to use your scalp massager but for the sake of this video, I'm going to be using my fingers to really, really scrub my scalp. Like I said, for the first shampoo, I attend to my scalp only. I'm just going to keep on scrubbing my scalp for a few minutes and then I will rinse it out. I'll rinse it out using warm water. I normally use warm water on my hair. Not hot, but warm now i'm just squeezing out the water and i'll go in with the second shampoo so this time is for my scalp and my hair so i'll apply the shampoo on my scalp and work it through to the tips of my hair keep on washing It is really important you scrub your scalp, you massage it because it helps to eliminate all the buildups on your scalp and to clean your hair properly. I'm done with my scalp, I will move now to my hair. So what I do is I apply more shampoo to the length of my hair and I gently work it through my hair by pressing it in and massaging it in and after that i'll rinse it off in the process of massaging your hair or working the product through your hair to clean your hair make sure you are not pulling your hair if not you end up with a lot of breakage at the end of your wash day you don't want that to happen to you so after rinsing it off i just pressed out the water Meaning I'll just leave my hair to dry a little before I go to the next stage which is the deep conditioning stage. And to dry my hair I'll be using this um, towel. This is not your regular towel. I don't know. I've forgotten what it is called. I'm going to put it on the screen. This one is really really nice for your hair. So I'm just going to put it on my hair and gently press it in to soak out the water before i move to the next stage you don't need to 
dry your hair it still needs to be damp before you apply your deep conditioner so now it's time to deep condition and i have here with me my homemade deep conditioner the video will be dropping soon so if you've not yet subscribed please do that and put your notification bell on so you don't miss it this deep conditioner has been helping me since i started my natural hair journey it has been working really great for me i've recommended it to a lot of people and it works for them as well so you don't want to miss that video what i'm doing now is to apply it on my hair after sectioning my hair into two now if your hair is not in mini braid at this point you can put your hair in smaller section and start applying the deep conditioner so right now i section my hair into two and i'm applying the deep conditioner on my scalp and the length of my hair yes i'm applying the deep conditioner on my scalp because of the way i made it because of the ingredients i used in making them it is for my scalp and my hair and remember when you're deep conditioning your hair don't leave any parts out the front of your hair the back of your hair all of them are really really important make sure you care for them i'm simply going to repeat same thing to the other side of my hair keep on washing And don't forget to give a special treatment to the tips of your hair whenever you're deep conditioning. They are the oldest part of your hair, so they deserve to be given special attention. Yes, I know that all parts of your hair are really important, but the tips, they need a lot of attention compared to other parts of your hair. That is my opinion and it has been working for me. So after deep conditioning, I just put my hair in a bantu knot and used my scrunchie to hold them together so the deep conditioner would penetrate in. And after then, I just put in a plastic bag and then I go in with this cap. I'm not going to be using external heat in this case. I'm just using these ones to trap in more heat. And I'll leave it on my hair for... 25 minutes to 30 minutes and it's time to rinse it off right now my hair is looking really really soft and moisturized look at it you can see it right here look at my curls; they are popping from the tips of my hair i left it for about 30 minutes because of my hair porosity if your hair is high porosity you might want to leave it for a longer time all right but for my low porosity girlies please don't leave this treatment on your hair for too long when rinsing out make sure you get all the products out of your hair because if there is any left over it is going to dry out on your hair and lead to breakage so make sure you rinse out all the products properly out of your hair done rinsing just going to press out the water and then go in with my final rinse i will be using this mixture on my hair you can use either green tea black tea anyone your hair loves and if you're not okay with anyone you can skip this step if you don't have any tea around you can as well use your clove and rosemary water or any herbs you normally spray on your hair 
you can use it as your final rinse like i said earlier if you're not okay with doing final rinse you can skip this step it is not a must but because it works for me that's why i always do it so i'm done with the rinsing what i'll do is to massage the water into my scalp and then i'll hold my hair up with a scrunchie i'm not going to use a towel to dry it i'll just leave it to a dry probably till the next day then i am ready to moisturize my hair now this is a very important aspect because if you don't moisturize your hair all the work you've put in to wash your hair deep condition and do your final rinse and all that would be a waste of time because this one will help to restore your hair so i left my hair till the next day before moisturizing now i'll go in with this leave-in conditioner this is my diy leave-in conditioner and the video on how i made it is on my channel also you can check it out or after watching this video just click on the description box click on more and you will see the link to the video right there so what i do is i section my hair into two and apply the leave-in conditioner i'm not applying it on my scalp i'm applying it from the root of my hair to the tip of my hair before i seal in the moisture i always moisturize my scalp i apply oil on my scalp i don't apply butter on my scalp i don't apply leave-in conditioner on my scalp except it is formulated for my scalp that is the only time i apply it slightly on my scalp so i'm just going with this my diy oil i'm sure you've seen the video and if you've not yet seen it to so check the description box the link will be there i apply the oil on my scalp and i massage this is very important massage your scalp it helps in blood circulation and it also helps your scalp to absorb the products you're applying on it so applying your oil on your scalp and not massaging it in is just a waste of time just imagine dropping your body cream on your body without massaging it into your skin it is not going to absorb it is exactly same thing with your scalp so make sure you massage the oil into your scalp very well and my final step is to apply butter on my hair so i apply it from the root of my hair to the tips of my hair this is to seal in the moisture this is my diy butter as well you can check out my channel on how i made it it is really 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 potent right now it is my best hair butter so after applying it from the root of my hair to the tip of my hair, I'm just going to use it on each of the braid. And at this point, if I come across any parts that has a knot at the tip of my hair, at this point, I just trim it off. But luckily for me, there was nothing like knots on my hair this time. So I don't need to trim it off. After applying the butter on the tip of my hair, I hold my hair up to prevent it from touching my shirt. Because if your hair keeps touching your shirt, it will pull out the cutting from your shirt to the tips of your hair, which also leads to split ends. And after holding it up, I just take some more shea butter and apply on my edges, the nape of my hair and the corner of my ears this is going to prevent my edges and those other parts of my hair from breaking lastly i'm going to keep the ends of my hair protected i'll just twist and tuck it in and then hold it together with a satin scrunchie thank you so much for watching bye